Oh crap. I warned you! Didn't I warn you? Hello everyone, my name is Nick. Welcome to this episode of Sunday Driver Rides. Thank you for joining me. I sure do appreciate it. Where am I going today? Santa someplace special? Yep. Going back to the junkyard. Some of you might be saying, Nick, you were just there a couple weeks ago. What are you what are you going to get now? You know? Some, some people might even say I have a problem. And the truth shall set you free! Others might say I'm living the dream. I guess I think I'm living the dream. Anyway, um, I've got more steel in my trailer in the back, and uh, that's what I did last time. The gentleman who owns a junkyard that I like to go visit very often, obviously, uh, he's willing to trade me steel for parts, you know, or discount off parts. So I take advantage of that as much as I can. So, um, also, you know, I live in Minnesota. It's November now. It's getting colder out sucks so I admit I want to get in as much junkyard time as I can before the snow flies so once the snow flies really not going to the junkyards around here you know what I mean so uh, what do I need today I don't know maybe I can find seats for the chargers Something, you know, is it uh, am I gonna find seats for a 69 charger at this junkyard? No, I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm gonna find something that works and um, well, make it work. Let's put it that way. So, and then, uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe we'll do some other things too. Anyway, enough talking, let's get to the yard, huh? All right, back to the coronet that just keeps on a given. Dad's here with me. Hi, Dad. So, Dad just looked on his phone, and the back seat, out of a Coronet, this 69 should fit in the Charger. So, hey, hey, that's still good. I could use that. Don't get cheap on me. Don't be pulling on that moss-filled uh, cushion. <laughs> but, in all seriousness, this should fit. Now, my Charger doesn't really have a floor, and I'm going to put a floor in it out of a... <laughs> metal that we got. Boy, you were just going to count on that thing. Out of that van that I got last year, but depending on how much I how much I warp the floor. Oh man, I'm tripping. This should fit for a back seat. You think I should do this for a back seat, don't you? Absolutely you should. I mean, I was going to save the upholstery, but now I can't because of somebody. <laughs> So that would be nice having a back seat. <laughs> not that I, probably save that. Not that I would see any pattern. Not that the back seat would see any action from a middle-aged man of uh, three kids, but <laughs> I might be able to get a pattern out of out of this part here. All right, let me think about that one. All right, so here's what we're thinking about doing. I am not an upholstery guy. You know, we found the back seat to that coronet and it should, according to the interwebs, fit into that charger. But I'm just not, I'm not an upholstery guy. I gotta get that reupholstered. And man, for those of you that don't know, upholstery, a good upholstery guy costs a lot of money. Material's expensive, labor's expensive, everything's expensive. So I'm thinking to myself, if I just measure that back seat in that coronet and I find something close, I'm better at bending metal and shaping metal and welding. Maybe I can make something that fits. I know some of you diehard charger guys or Mopar guys are going, oh my gosh, you're not going stock? No, if you're thinking I'm doing any of that, you might as well <laughs> change the channel. <laughs> I hate to say it, but I can't afford stock stuff. Like I've said in the past, three kids. One's about to start college in less than two years. I gotta save all my nickels, you know what I mean? So let's measure, see what we got, and then just see what our options are. And hopefully it doesn't look too hokey if I do it. 
I took out the back and, oh my gosh, it's a build sheet. Well, what's left of it. Oh, that's cool. Oh, it's a shame part of it's missing. Is the rest of it in there? That's cool. You can't read anything on it, but it's still kind of cool to see, right? Well, there's the other part that ripped off. Cool. Anyway, let's measure this and just see what what our options are. All right, so the backrest is about what? 58 inches, 59. It's very accurate when the tape measure keeps falling. I don't know if you get bad for this. Okay, so there's our width roughly of the back. What do we got? About 58 and a half. Between 58 and 58 and a half, roughly, for the backrest of the back seat. And the back, the seat cushion for the back seat is about five feet. Let's just call it five feet. So if I did, what did I say the other one was? 58? Let's just say five feet. I don't know, because I suppose the wheel well was in the way for to the backrest. I don't know, somewhere around there. So I gotta find something that fits around that area. Alright, now I might piss you off some of you off with this idea, but I like the GM seats because they got the the seat belt built right into the seat. I like that. So I have a shoulder, you know, a shoulder strap for that and no. Oh, <laughs> you smell bad. <laughs> oh, something died in you. Nasty. But you know what? I wonder if those back that back seat would work. Probably not. Let's measure for fun. Because I can't hold a camera still to save my life. Hey, look at that. It's under five feet. Maybe. Like I said, it's on a Chevy going into a Charger. Not a lot of guys are like that, but it's a rat. Remember that. All right, I got this ugly Ford 500, but you know, the back seat looks pretty nice. You know, and it's wide enough, or narrow enough, whatever you want to call it. It's a little narrow, but the front seats <laughs> look. <laughs> the window was down just a little bit, and ice in there. I just splattered water on this. But, um, you know, the seats don't look bad in it. it. Does. This might be a candidate. Let's see what else they got. Alright, see, this is what I was thinking about. See, I got the seat belt here. Look at that. Custom stitching. Perfect for the charger. But in all seriousness, you know, it's not hard to find seat covers for a truck. And the back seat is almost perfect for them on this extended like cab. So, so built in seat parts. You just don't like the looks of it? I don't like the looks of it for a, for a 69 charger. But I mean, the, the length, I just checked it, it's almost perfect. And it's nice, this is nice and flat. I could, you know, not worry about the contour, the, the floor so much. This setup would be worth it for the right price. Dad, you found a Mopar? Yeah. The seat belt's built into it? I've never yeah. seen that. Yeah, it's convertible. It's kind of stuck. <laughs> yeah, it is though. Yeah. I don't think we're gonna be using this one. <laughs> seat belt stuck. Oh well, worth the luck, right? Check out the Nova he's got back here. I didn't, I never knew this was even here. That grill actually looks really good. Uh, he's missing some stuff, but he's just got the street six, I believe. Yeah, nothing fancy. That uh, front seats are missing. There's dash, looks like it's there. You know, glass, front glass is crap. Rear glass doesn't look bad. This is pristine. All right, let's buy it. got rear-ended. Alright, focus Nick. Find seats. Here's the 
your seats in the Durango might be good, huh? I think these were. God, yeah. That sucks. That's broke. But look at the... Look at that. Wow. They're not beaten up at all. They look good. Those seats are nice. Feels comfy. Look at that. Right there. Mud wasps. Nature always wins, right? Anyway, focus. Maybe uh, maybe these seats are a good candidate for the charger. All right, here's what we're gonna do. This old satellite Roadrunner, whatever it is, the framework for the rear seats is really good. You see somebody cut out something, I don't know why. So we're gonna take the back seats out of this. Here's the one cushion. Here's the other cushion, the bottom one, I believe. So we're gonna take these. And then here, this Cadillac, we're stealing the front buckets off. Dad did a good job finding these. They're nice and low, unlike the truck seats, which would sit too high. And they have seat belts built into it. And free contact lenses. All right. But there's one problem. I think they fit. Yeah. They look good? Yeah, they look good, Dad. <laughs> There's one problem that we found. With these, hey, let's take this thing for a spin. Um, the one problem we found, or we think anyway, you know, back in the day in a two-door car, you'd get into it, and if you had like four people, you'd get into it, open the door, and then just grab the seat and pull it forward, and they get in the back. Yeah, that's not happening with a Cadillac seat from 1999. Oh well, the back seat will be mostly for show. So, it is what it is, right? So, let's get these things out, shall we? So, I got this car next to me and I got this much room to fit all this in. And I don't really fit. Oh, no. oh hey, somebody was drinking in here when they shouldn't have been. <laughs> Anyway, oh, sh I'm stuck. Ugh. All right, here we go. All right, these seats are gonna have to wait. I can't even open the door. Um, we just looked at a thing online. Somebody was taking these out. You gotta have power and put the seats all the way forward. The battery that's in here, it's dead. And then two, it takes Torx sockets to get them out. I don't have those here because I'm just used to digging in the old stuff. Not this new fancy pan stuff. So that's a bummer. I'm going to have to come back to get those seats. But that's life. Let's see if we can get something else. All right, we're changing gears a little bit. The Cadillac, Cadillac's just too much work. It's power everything. The mounting bolts that go through the side and the floor pan. It's, it just turned into a pain in the butt to... Uh, try to pull those out and then to mount them on the charger it'd be this just as big of a pain because i still gotta make the floor for the charger and i don't want to i don't want to have to reinvent the wheel doing that so dad found this pt cruiser you know they're all fold and all that fun stuff but honestly i just didn't see, think the seats were that comfortable so dad thank my dad he kept looking he found this this old taurus and the seats in them actually pretty comfortable Let's take a look. Right. Leather, ooh, they are, they're comfy. A little stain there, big deal. Don't care about that. This one does have power on the driver's side, the other one's manual. Uh, I mean, so be it. But they are, they're comfortable. They're not totally destroyed. You know, and they're only held in by like four bolts that are actually go to the floor and not going sideways. They go up and down. So I'm very thankful for that. So. This is it, I hope. What's the hold up now? Come on. Let's go while we're young.
All right, there they are. Loaded. They are. They're comfy. I'm happy with them. The only thing that sucks, like I said, just like the Cadillac, they don't fold all the way down. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a bear getting into the back seat, but I don't think it's ever gonna happen. I don't think anybody's ever gonna use it. It's just gonna be there for looks, which is fine with me. All right, a few days later, I've got the seats home and in the garage. So I am, I'm really happy with those seats. So they're a little dirty, but you know, they're from a junkyard. What do you expect? Now, those of you that watch the channel regularly know that I don't have a 69 Charger here. I have a 68 Firebird here on a rotisserie. So, yeah, along with the subframe that I gotta get working on, I've just been busy. So the question is, why did I bring these home? Well, honestly, dad was there up at the junkyard with me and that's why I've got my the Charger at his place up at the farm. He had to leave early because he was going hunting and he was running out of daylight. So, and I just took too long to take these out. So I brought these home, but he did uh, take the uh, rear seats, the rear seat back home with him. And he showed me what it looked like in the charger. And uh, that's cool. Really excited about that. So, but I do, next time I go to mom and dad's, I wanna, I want to put these in the charger, but you know what? I've got kind of an itch. Let's just see what they look like, at least in the bird. It'd be kind of cool to see, right? Okay. Gently. Gently. Oh, crap. So, these don't fit too good. <laughs> I'm not overly concerned about it. Like I said, I still gotta make the floor in the in the uh, charger anyway. And you know what, these brackets are kinda high. I can always cut those down and lower it. And you know, I can, I can put these in the charger and just see where my floor is gonna sit and just go from there. I'll figure it out, so. But I'm not gonna worry about it, but it is. It's, it's kind of cool to see a seat in it though, right? When you step back and look at it. Looks kind of cool, even though it is obviously way too big for it. <laughs> oh lordy. Oh, I got some work to do. All right, anyway, I think we're gonna call that an episode. Thank you for watching, per usual. I really do appreciate it. If you could like, subscribe, comment, once again, Pretty usual, I'm slow at the comments. I'll eventually get to them though. So, uh, but if you could do all that fun stuff, it would be greatly appreciated. So, thanks again. Take care. I warned you, didn't I warn you?